Okay, so today's fun project. I've had this happen once before. This is a GE Superbox. This is the new version, the Bluetooth one. Um, the bottom is stuck in this thing. It should normally spring back and be even here. And uh, if you have a normal key, well, if you have a phone setup key, you have to be able to push this in to activate it. But it's somebody tried to push it in, an agent tried to push it in, and it got stuck. I think what's happened, and this happened to me once a few years ago, is that some moron put the key, well, actually I think it was a home inspector, which you think they'd be a little more mechanically inclined, um, put the key on the wrong side of the insert, and so it's jammed in there. And because this needs to be able to spring back, you can't actually get it open because you can't hold on to it enough. So this was a bit of a bitch last time I did it. But uh, basically, you need to get something you can hold on to in there. So what I'm going to do is take a... We've got some self-tapping screws, impact, and some pliers. Um, I brought a few just because sometimes these the tips will wear out as you're trying to drill through it. This is aluminum, but uh, it shouldn't, uh, shouldn't be too bad. Nut driver really helps on this kind of thing. Okay. So we've got a hold of it now. And this is where having an old school key like this actually kind of helps because, and one of the reasons I've kept it is that you can activate it without having to push the box in. The trick is you only get a short window of time to do it. Yeah, and then you fumble your pliers. Okay, so I released the shackle, took it off the doorknob. This is one that works correctly. You can see it goes in about half an inch. This one is now stuck at basically the all the way out position. I can hear a key rattling around, which I feel like last time when I had this happen, didn't happen. But I think what's happened is that there's a obvious sign here that has a key with a circle and a slash through it where you don't put the key and that's where the last person put the key instead of putting it in here the weird thing is that i hear it rattling around so i'm wondering if the key tag didn't get caught or something um, i think there were two keys on here i think we need to find a hammer Trying to see, there's a little bit of flex. Let's see if you can shake it loose. I think that's how I got it more stuck than it is, is that I shook it. It's hard to kind of narrow down where the... Try to decide what side the key is on. Precision punch. Yeah, that didn't really move. Problem is that it needs to go in that far in order for it to release and then come back out. Which is what the pain in the butt was last time. It's 
proper jammed in there. The other thing I could do progress oh I wonder if my screw in there was holding it well, yeah okay so self tapping is the answer but screwing the hole right there is not the answer you need to screw a hole up here drill would be helpful too. Yeah, a pre-drilled hole would be nice. Come on. Concern is that there's a metal plate on the other side of the cast aluminum. And if I get stuck there and then yeah, stuck up against that and then wallow out the aluminum because it tries to push through. Pre-drilled hole would be much better. But I didn't bring a drill. Yeah, it looks like we're still in the aluminum. Safe place we can a little bit of a mess. I'm getting emails about me opening the box. the hell is all this? Well, there's your problem. Yeah, so they stuck this. That's just the piece that goes. This one's different than this one. Oh, no it isn't. The plastic piece came out. So that wasn't the same as the last time. That was, uh, that was purely the fault of the dumbass who put this big key tag on here. Here, there's their phone number. They're idiots. Well, 
that's the fix. Screw into the side that's got the key pocket on it. Pull it out so that it can release the latch. Open the lockbox, push it in, and then pull it out. Then you can get it open. Fun, fun.